once you fly it is beautiful. The footage, honestly, I was very impressed. 2.7K looks gorgeous, almost as gorgeous, actually as gorgeous as my previous drone. And you get the footage out of the SD card, put it in your PC, and you can fire it up on your computer. It's H.264, so it works on most computers. So while your phone does have locally cached copies of the footage, best quality requires you getting the SD card out and plugging it into your beautiful computer. As I use a MacBook Pro, I require a Dongle City. So I got this micro SD card reader, just like that, and plug it into my Dongle City. So when you plug in the SD card, something like Untitled should appear there. You can always give it a rename. So rename, I'm gonna call it DGI, and in DCIM, 100 media, there is your MP4 file, and look at that beautiful, beautiful footage that we were earlier recording. You know, I gotta say, it looks gorgeous. Does look gorgeous. Look at the epic sun, just flows right there. So you can copy that off and have a nice little play with it. Just looks spectacular. Format-wise, let's see what's recorded under. We can see that it is H.264, so it's not the new HTVC, and that's the resolution, 2.7K. What I personally do before importing it is, I actually have a script to do this automatically for me, but basically the concept is I rename the files based on the day and the time I took it, and I add in a location, and I also add in an underscore DGI, so that way when I'm searching for it in the future, I can search for DGI, I can search for the date, and I can also search for the location. It really helps me archive my footage a lot easier. And you can import that into Final Cut Pro and make it look gorgeous. Here's a quick lesson on how to make the footage look amazing. So I'm gonna start a new project here. I'm gonna type in amazing raw footage. And then what I do is I go through the footage and I just cut out any uninteresting parts. So that was a weird jolt that just happened there. So I'm gonna put a breaking there. And after the break, I'm gonna fast forward it there. And there's a weird breaking in my control. So this way you wanna keep it nice and smooth and steady. So after I've recentered, I've gone a bit crazy here, a different shot. And I just fast forward through the footage. That's a nice one over there. This is a bit crazy, so I'll put some breaks. And I go through and I just cut out the footage of all the nonsense. So I'm left right here with all the cut footage. As you can see, it's flying through different angles, different beautiful shots I can use. And then once I've done that, you save this project and you duplicate it. So you got this, this raw footage saved. And then once you got that saved, all you do is just take breaks whenever there's a, a break in the song. So for example, let's get a good part of this song. I'm gonna start off here. I'm gonna decide maybe this is a good opening. This one here. Here is an opportunity for a break because that's where the music breaks. Now I can do a cut to another scene or if I press shift B, I can do a little speed up. So I'm gonna fast forward the sequence really fast here, like 4X, and look what, how this looks like. So it changes the motion there. That one looks like an AX actually. And it slows down again, it's kind of like lock and pop. So you do that. Put a bit of cuts between the two. See that? Beats by nerves. Transition. Transition. And then you keep on putting transitions through. And then for example here, this footage seems a bit dark. Maybe, let's find out. So if you go inside the color correction, if you go inside color wheels, this is an amazing interface you can use in Final Cut. You can try brightening up, but as you can see, as you brighten up the scene too much, it removes a bit of the, the sun, so I don't brighten up that. But you can add the mid-tones that kind of gives it like a nice bit of colors to it. You can also increase the temperature, change the time of day. So here, look at that. I've just completely changed the look and feel of this. I'm gonna get rid of that music just to show you. Just by changing the color tone, I can make it different parts of the day. You don't want to be too aggressive by the change, but you can play around with that. Secondly, if, for example, this is dark and this is too bright, you can just make this one a bit darker. And you can even change the temperature to match. So now look at this. Hit play, and it comes in, and it's a bit more, this is before, this is before over here. Hit play, before, bit too aggressive, that cut. 
seems like a completely different time of day. However, afterwards, transition there. And you kind of just have fun with your sequence and you end up with an amazing, amazing, fun project to play with. One of the best features about this tiny drone is that it really impresses the ladies. Wow, it's so small. 